for that. On to the doctor strike. Now, the Employment and Labor Relations Court has ordered striking doctors and their employers, the government, to meet them without conditions and come up with a return to work formula by Friday the 19th, even as it extended the negotiation period for another 30 days beginning today. Judge Byram Ongaya also extended an order directing doctors to go back to work as negotiations continue and secure minimum safety services are offered in hospitals. And as Emily Chibet reports, the court has directed a reconstitution of the whole nation approach committee to ensure inclusivity of all parties by Friday. The Employment and Labor Relations Court has directed the government to convene a meeting with the Kenya Medical Pharmacists and Dentists Union by Friday, 19th April, without conditions, and conclude a return to work formula. Judge Baira Mungaya, who extended the negotiation period by 30 more days, also ordered a reconstitution of the whole nation approach committee within the same period following submissions from the healthcare workers that they were not fully represented in the committee that is supposed to be leading the talks. Judge Ongaya stayed the previous order suspending the ongoing strike as long as the parties are unconditionally continuing with engaging in terms of orders, that the parties are observing prevailing contracts of service and that there should be no intimidation or harassment of union officials. Further, he directed that no disciplinary proceedings to be commenced or continued to facilitate the members of the union to render service as employed and unhindered. The strike will remain suspended upon the agreement of a return to work formula or the memorandum of understanding on minimum safety services. KMPDU has maintained that they are on strike until the government comes up with a return to work formula as directed by the court. Government was saying that we have to suspend the strike before we have the whole of nation engagements. But today, court has been very clear on it that there should be no any conditions for that particular engagement. And we say, as we continue with our strike, we must have a sit-down and a return-to-work agreement that gives the sanctity of this particular CBA, that protects it in entirety, that ensures that there is implementation of the demands we have, that the 19 issues cannot be wished away in any way. Justice Ongaya in his directive said there should be at least two doctors per cadre, two medical officers, two dental officers, two pharmacists and at least two consultants to handle emergencies for all hospitals categorized as level 3, 4 and 5 until parties agree on a return to work formula. For Kenyatta National Hospital, Moe Teaching and Referral Hospital, and Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital, the judge said there should be at least 30 consultants, 50 medical officers, 10 pharmacists, and 3 dentists on duty for each of the referral facilities. For Madare Teaching and Referral Hospital, Justice Ongaya said there will be 10 consultants and 3 medical officers. According to KMPDU, all this will only happen after an agreement with the employer. Despite the strike, we have given, we have we let out the, the medical superintendent to be working in some hospitals. And that has been happening. And so for us to have any meaningful minimum services uh, in any hospital, we must have a meeting. We must have a sitting. But as it is now, all the doctors are out until governments call for that meeting. As we will wait, whether it takes 60 days, whether it takes 100 days, as long as it takes, because we are out for a reason. We didn't go on strike for fun. We're going on strike because all the things that we have been demanding have been wished away. The case will be mentioned on the 23rd of May 2024. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV.